want to remind you of this. So here you have a different background, but it is less noisy and you know I'm able to to, to actually film and not have to be constantly uh, worried about the sound that's coming that was coming from it. So I hope you appreciate that it is not as noisy. Um, okay, so I'm gonna jump right into today's video. If you haven't seen part um, uh, part one, which is episode one to this series, which is destroying satanic and toxic satanic structures, uh, I advise you to see episode one. Episode one um, dealt with the uh, episode one dealt with um, uh, the helmet of salvation and also the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and by using those two pieces of the weapon uh we were able to use those and destroy the works of the enemy against our minds so i advise you and encourage you to see episode one of this series which is dismantling satanic structures okay so and you would gain even more information there because i explained a lot more in episode one uh, so if you're joining today for the first time, I encourage you to watch episode one. Thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to my um, DVA family for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing the videos. I really do appreciate it. I want to say a really special shout out to somebody who I haven't been seeing hello to in a while and that's to Auntie Michelle. I haven't forgotten about you. How can I? You're my marketing manager. <laughs> so hi Auntie Michelle, how are you doing? And I want to say a shout out to Brewery Ministries in Suriname to the entire network I want to say a shout out to the leadership especially and that's our, our, our Apostle Ma, Pastor Yogi and Sister Rosita how are you guys doing I can't wait to see you guys I miss you guys a lot okay so I want to get into this uh, video but first let's pray Oh, hallelujah. Father, give you praise and thanks for what you're doing. I even thank you even now for this fabulous office to be able to film here in this comfort, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do today in somebody's life. I give you all the praise and all the honor, oh God, because I believe that there are people that are being blessed, oh Lord, and it's because of that word that you've spoken to me about a year ago, oh God, and it is being manifested even today. So I'm thankful, oh God. I'm thankful for the testimonies. I'm thankful thankful for all that people are sharing with me and I believe that you who did it yesterday will do it again today for somebody. I give you praise and honor for that even now in the mighty name of Jesus. So there you have it guys. Thank you for all your testimonies by the way. Thank you for sharing them with me and please thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for, for liking and subscribing as well. Uh, oh, oh huh, how can I forget? I want to give a really major shout out here to uh, Deaconess in Training, um, Kathy Ann Ford from DVA Ministries, from our ministry, uh, because she's been on Facebook. So if you haven't seen Bitter on Facebook, she's on Facebook as Evangelist Kathy Ann Ford. So you can check out her Facebook and see some of the videos she'll be posting there as well from um, my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. But you know when you film, you do forget about a lot of things because your focus is so on what you have to say. Okay, so as I said before, um, the last video I spoke about the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And today we're going to use, um, uh, uh, I'm going to use one other piece of the weapon because remember it's the full armor, so full armor of God. So today I'm going to use the shield of faith. I'm going to use the shield of faith and we're going to pray these prayer points together and we're going to use the shield of faith and we're going to be able to eject some things out of our life and be able to walk in faith in a greater level of faith because the word of God said even if it's a mustard seed that it can move a mountain and I've seen that in my own life I've seen where I didn't have a mustard seed of faith <laughs> but when I think about it I must have in the beginning because really I believe in my heart that when you say yes to Jesus that you would have had to have some faith there but I find a lot of people have faith to say yes to Jesus but as soon as they say yes the faith just seems to somehow disappears it seems to somehow go to the back of your mind and you forget that once you say yes you, you believe in your heart that you know born again you believe in your heart that you've got a recreated spirit you believe in your heart that you're going to heaven and not hell so how can you believe in your heart that you're going to heaven and not hell by having that faith how can you believe that you believe that because you have faith so I believe that we all have faith but I believe what happens sometimes is that you have the faith to say yes I mean just last night I led um, someone to Jesus and 
that was faith. That gentleman would have had to have faith to say yes. And he came to me and said he wanted this. So he would have had to have faith to say yes and believe that after he said yes to Jesus and he accepted Jesus in his, in his heart as his Lord and Savior, that his life automatically is different and he's going to be different and he is going to now be part of um, the kingdom of, he of heaven. So I said all I have to say is that he had faith to say yes and he had faith to believe that everything about him is going to be different, it's going to be a process, as long as he's safe with Jesus, it's going to happen. That was serious faith. But then what happened, you begin to walk the walk, <laughs> the Christian walk, and all of a sudden that high level faith you had when you said yes began to dwindle. It began to somehow dwindle and become less and less as you approach different struggles, as you approach different um, battles in your life. Remember, as you approach different storms, remember, it doesn't mean by saying yes that your life is no longer going to be, uh, it, your life is, is going to be void of battles and storms and frustrations and, and everything else that comes along with living. It means you are alive. But you would live differently if you understand by having that faith that when you say yes, if you go back, sometimes I think, even myself, sometimes I think back, to when I said yes to Jesus. And I know in my heart that because of saying yes, it had given me such great faith, uh, that inward faith because of saying yes to the Lord. So I go back sometimes and I'm like, huh, well when I said yes, I had such faith because to believe all of a sudden is like, I transition from going to hell to heaven. So that is, that's a huge amount of faith. Okay, so I believe today that we're going to pray some prayer points and somebody's faith is going to uh, be revisited. <laughs> somebody's faith is going to be lifted. Somebody's faith is going to increase. And you see that it can only increase even to even a mustard seed. And you know how small a mustard seed is. Why would you believe God about heaven and hell and you don't believe that he will do all that he said that he will do in his word or, 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 or a spoken word to you from him in a vision, in a dream or from a prophet or a pastor or, or somebody else that you know in your heart that obviously that inward witness tells you that this is a word from that leader, you know, or somebody. So why would you believe that but you don't believe that they say God is going to do it for you. Every promise, he's going to fulfill it. But you've got to believe it in your heart without doubting. When you go to him in prayer, you've got to believe in your heart without doubting. That's the word. The word of God says that faith pleases him. So in my heart, I often say, well, if I'm not having faith today, definitely I'm not pleasing my daddy. And I, I desire to please my father. I desire to please my heavenly father. So whatever is lingering in my heart, that fear enters. And you must know that if you don't have faith, then what happens? You have fear. Okay, because if you're doubting, that's fear. And if you're doubting, you're saying you're still displeasing in God's eyes because it's like he said, faith pleases him. Why? Because this world that we live in, that we see before us was created by what? The spoken word, faith. So you cannot, when you get on an airplane or that airplane takes you from the ground to a different nation, what is that? You must trust the pilot. So you're telling me today that you trust the pilot, but you do not trust God. So I want you to increase in your faith today. And that's when the enemy comes against us Christians and he's able to defeat some of us because we don't realize that we have a weapon called a shield of faith to put it on, to arm ourselves with it and be able to do what? To, to shield ourselves against every fiery dart. So I want to go with you here to the scripture. I'm not going to read the entire scripture. I'm going to share it at the, in the description box below. And it's taken from Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. But today I'm only going to share from Ephesians 6, um, uh, verse 16, where it, said, uh, where it says that, in addition to this, take up the shield of faith, which with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. What are they saying? With which you can you can you can extinguish all the fiery. Some scriptures say all the fiery darts of the evil one. Because when he fires his darts to you, trust me, <laughs> they're evil, yes, one, and they're definitely hot. Because why why he says fire? Because you feel them and they're wicked and evil. So you feel it. When the enemy lashes out at us, we you cannot say you don't feel it. So if you can feel what he's doing. Then you take the shield up today. If you arm yourself with this, you'll be able to feel the glory of God instead. You'll be able to shield what he is doing and feel the glory of God, feel the anointing of God, feel the power of God, feel the fire of God. That's what you want to feel. You want to feel that. You don't want to feel what he's doing to you. You want it to bounce off of you from what he's doing in your life. Amen. So let's get right into the prayer points today. 
Say, Heavenly Father, say, delete the demonic download of the devil from my life concerning fear. In the name of Jesus, delete every demonic dream that I've gotten, Lord. Delete every demonic vision that I've gotten, Lord, from my system, from my life. Remove his deception from my heart. Remove it now, O oh God. Remove it now, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that my faith will build. Come on, say it with me. That my faith will build. That my faith will grow in the name of Jesus. Do it in my life today, O oh God. Say, Heavenly Father, say, delete. Come on, delete. Delete every demonic download. And I spoke to you about this before, that sometimes you get a dream, and in that dream, you can get evil downloads. And all of a sudden, you wake the next day, you're wondering why you feel the way you feel. You went to bed feeling good, but you woke feeling terrible. You woke, don't want to feel it. You, you go into depression. You begin to stress about every single thing. But that's a plan of the devil that came in the middle of the night. And you've also got to check yourself to see if you have any doors open that would allow him to enter into your dream life, because you really shouldn't be able to enter into your dream life. So that's why I'm praying this prayer point today, because of the wisdom and the understanding and the knowledge and revelation that I have on this topic. Amen. So if you haven't said it before, I'm going to say it with you again. Say, Heavenly Father, delete the demonic download of the from the devil from my life, from all his demonic defilements in my dream life. Remove his lies and deception from my heart right now in the name of Jesus. That would cause me to fear and not grow in my faith. Remove it now, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to please you, O oh God. My aim is to please you, O oh God. My desire is to please you, O oh God. Oh, remove it today, O oh God. Lord God, extract it from my heart today. Extract it from my mind today. Extract it from my soul today. Mm. Lord God, extract it from my body today. Whatever my flesh is holding on to from my past, oh God, extract it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Malia Kashi Kaya. Extract it. Kariyama Soto Komiaka. Extract it. Kariyama Shataya Rababo Siatia Kahe. Extract it today. Let it be removed today, mighty God. Let it be removed today, precious Father. Let it be removed today. I open my heart for it to be removed today. I open my mind for it to be removed today. I open my soul, oh God, that it be removed today. I give you my body today, oh God, that it be removed today. Remove it today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my Akashi, Aramasiato. Remove it, oh God. Those things are keeping me bound to fear and not have faith, oh God. Oh, Mashiki, Alamasoto, Yarabahi Akashi, Amaha. Remove it today, oh God. Remove it today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, because I shall increase in my faith today. Day. I shall increase the day in my faith. I shall increase. I shall increase. I'm determined today that I will increase today in the mighty name of Jesus. So I take up my, uh, my shield of faith now, right now, right now, right now, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Mali Karamashi Academy. So talk. Hallelujah, Lord God. Say, Father, open the eyes of my spirit uh, to your miracles and deliverance from my life. Uh, open my, the eyes, O oh God, to my spirit, O oh God, to your deliverance from my life, uh, to your miracles from my life, uh, to your breakthroughs from my life, O oh God, that I've went, O oh God, amiss because of fear in my life, O oh God. Open my eyes to that faith, O oh God. Let it be imparted into me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, you know when I accepted the Lord Jesus as my Lord and Savior, that I accepted him by faith, oh God. Take me back to that place of faith, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because, oh God, there was such hope that came. Oh, Mashiach, oh Rabbah, And Father, I believe that faith was imparted into my heart by having that new recreated spirit. So today, oh God, today, oh God, impart it into me, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Take back my mind to that time, oh God, in the name of Jesus, when that precious blood, oh Mashiach, oh Rabbah, 
wash away my sins, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And I have believed, oh God, everything, everything was washed away. And then the enemy brought it back, oh God. And I began to believe the lies of the devil, oh God. But today I'm asking you, oh God, to remove it from my life, oh Maha, oh Maha, Shiaka. Remove it from my life, oh God, and open my spiritual eyes, oh God, to what you are doing in my life. Oh, Mashia la Boshia Kia Ramaboshia Ta. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my spiritual eyes today to your miracles, your breakthroughs, oh God, your word, oh God, oh Mashia Ka, your wisdom, your counsel, oh God, your revelation, oh God, your visions, oh God, your dreams, oh God. In the name of Jesus, clear the path for me to receive in my heart, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh Liama Mama Rodia Sia Tia Kuniama Sia Tele Ramavuatia. Oh, Shiana Maria Kuria Mashia Karamaha Siete. In the mighty name of Jesus, do it in my life today, O oh God. Do it in my life today, O oh precious Father. Do it in my life today, O oh merciful God. Do it in my life today, O oh sovereign God. For you are faithful, God. You are faithful, O oh Lord God. Even when my faith has been failing me, O oh God, it never failed you, O oh God. You continue to be faithful to me, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I accept it today, O oh God, that I will trust in you, O oh God. I will trust in your word, oh God, that you who began a good work in my life, oh God, you are able to fulfill it, oh God. You are able to bring it to full manifestation, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, take my heart and my body and my soul and everything today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, give him of yourself. Give him of yourself when you pray these prayer points. Don't just pray them and just use mere words. Give him of yourself. Give him of your body. Give him of your heart. Give him of your mind. Give him everything of you today. Withhold nothing. Withhold nothing. Give him all. Give him all. Give him all. Give him all today. Give him all. Give him all. Give him your mind. Give him your heart. Give him your body. Give him every thought. Give him every plan. Give him everything of you today. Give him everything. Give him everything. So, Lord, take everything of me today. Take it all. 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 So, Lord, I know this body doesn't belong to me. This temple is not mine. Oh, give him all. Give him all of you. All of you. All of you. All of you. Hallelujah. Say, so, Father, open my eyes to see the mountain before me. And to know that you are bigger than that mountain. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, oh God, to see the mountain before me. Whatever your mountains are that you think is a mountain, ask him now. Say, Lord, open my eyes to those mountains. Don't let my eyes be clouded to them, oh God. Don't let me walk in deception, oh God. Don't let me walk in destruction, oh God. Open my eyes to see it. Don't let me walk blinded, oh God. Open my spiritual eyes to see it, oh God. But let me know, oh God, in my heart. That you are bigger than those mountains mountains. You are bigger than every trouble. You are bigger than every hole. You are bigger than the enemy's camp. You are bigger than his troubles. You are bigger than the afflictions, oh God. You are bigger than every trouble, every worry, oh God. You are bigger, oh God. You are the creator of this universe, oh God. You are the one who created the same devil, oh God. So he, oh my, he is the Creator, and you are the creator. I will not bow down to create to the created. I will bow, oh God, to the creator. You are my creator, God. You are my Abba. You are my great provider. You are my Jehovah Jireh. Oh Lord, open my eyes to my provision. Open my eyes, oh God, to everything that you said, oh God, that is mine. I shall have it. Father, I believe in my heart today as I pray these prayer points today day as I allow every wicked evil thing that the enemy has planted in my heart that as it leave my body today that as it leave my mind today that I shall have everything oh God that you said that I shall have for every season and every times oh God that I would have missed that season I would have missed that opportunity I would have missed that creative uh, plan I would have missed that creative financial plan I would have missed that creative plan for ministry I would have missed that oh God to them asking God to bring it back to me come on speak to the Lord right now now. 
Bring it back. Come on, somebody. Say, bring it back to me. Bring back that dream, oh God. Bring back that vision, oh God. Father, remind me of that revelation you have given to me. Bring it back today as my spirit becomes clear, as my body becomes clear today, that I'm able to receive as the fear leaves me today. Come on, speak as the fear. Say, every ounce of fear, my body, in my mind, my soul. Say, leave my body today now. Leave my mind now. I will not submit to fear. Come on, say, leave my body now. I will not be imprisoned to fear. I will not live in fear. In the mighty name of Jesus, you've got to go. You've got to go. Come on, speak to it. Say, you've got to go. Spirit of fear, you've got to go. you got to come out of my body now. you got to leave my mind now. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my God did not give me a spirit of fear. Come on, speak it, speak it. Say, my God did not give me a spirit of fear. I will not submit to fear. In the mighty name of Jesus, Say, Father, oh, Mashi Korababa Sa, say, Father, eject the spirit of insecurity and intimidation from my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Eject it now, oh, Koshi Karababa, the spirit of intimidation and insecurity in the mighty name of Jesus. Eject it from my life now, eject it from my heart now, eject it from my soul now, that I will walk in faith according to how you've designed me, knowing that you have designed me for a plan and a purpose. Oh, Mashiach, I will not walk, oh God, in insecurity. I will not walk, oh God, in inadequacy. I will not walk, oh God, as one who is lowly. No, oh God, because you are the lift of my head, oh Lord. Mashiach, so every fiery dart from the enemy of inadequacy, every fiery dart of the enemy of insecurity, every fiery dart of the enemy, oh Mashiach, Mashiach, every fiery dart of him to make me think low of myself, every fiery dart of him to make me think that I'm the tail and not the head. Every fiery dart of him to make my mind think negatively and have negative thoughts in my heart. Every negative fiery dart of him to make me go farther into stress and depression. In the name of Jesus, eject it from me now. I take up that shield of faith now to put it against the enemy in, as a defense mechanism. In the mighty name of Jesus, I take it up spiritually now. As my faith begin to grow even now by faith you have to have faith even for your faith to grow hallelujah lord god in the mighty name of jesus say eject it eject it eject it come on put your hand to your mind put your hand to your head put your hand to your chest put your hand to your body put your hand now in the name of jesus and say be ejected out of me now be ejected out of me now be ejected out of me now every diabolical fear that enter me every diabolical hour because sometimes the hour can enter you will have no idea you just realize that you wake up one morning you have no hope you just begin to live a life of no hope then how can you please God how can you achieve how can you create mm. Maria Maboshoko, who am I speaking to today that you God has given you a plan, but you've done nothing with it. You're sitting on it and you're wondering why you don't have money in your pocket. You're wondering why you're not prospering because you're sitting on the plans that God has given to you. You're sitting on the vision. You're sitting on the revelation. You're sitting on the wisdom. Remember what God has given to you. Hallelujah. It is not just for you. It is for somebody else. So somebody else is suffering right now because of you, because you will not rise up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, so Father, remove every diabolical seed that the enemy has planted in my heart. Mm. Mm. That the enemy has planted in my mind. Oh my hea ha shia korea basa. That he has planted in my body to not see you ha. To not worship you ha. To not pray and cry out to you ha. To not have hope pare masa kaye de he. Haliara baba sa. Remove every diabolical seed now from my mind, my heart, my body, my soul. La raba ha. Ya to shia ka rebe se. Remove it from the crevice of my being now in the mighty name of Jesus. Open my eyes to you. Open my heart to you. Open my mind to you. Open my heart today, oh God, to your word. Remove those seeds. Every diabolical seed that's preventing me from worshiping, Lord, remove it. Every diabolical seed that's preventing me, oh God, from worship, from prayer. 
praying, from giving thanks, oh Lord, hey, Masa, from seeing you in everything that I do. Yeah, remove it, oh remove it, oh Rebehe, remove it, oh Riamabahe, remove it, oh Riamabasa, remove it, Tiana Mamosia, remove it, oh Kuriana Mamma Sata, remove it today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, remove the satanic structures of jealousy, hatred of self and others, lying town, mindless behavior from my life uh, today that's preventing me from operating and walking by faith uh, and not by sight uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Le Karamasa. Say, Father, remove that satanic structure. Oh, Mari Karobosioto. Internal and external. Oh, Ria Baba Sate. Remove, oh God, every satanic internal, external structure. Oh, Lord God, that's covered, that's allowing me to operate in jealousy, hatred of myself and others having me having a lying tongue hallelujah having mindless behavior or oh, that's behavior that you you're thinking of not thinking about the other people that are around you that you may be even encouraging to sin without you realizing it oh mashi kore or you just doing things without thinking that there's a god and there's a holy spirit who dwell inside of you you live your life for yourself selfishly that's you moshia kore basete not thinking about others Maria Mashia, who you hurt. Oh, hallelujah. Your life is not your own as long as you say yes to Jesus. Oh, Mashia, okay. So, Lord, remove every satanic structure inward, Lord, or outward, Lord, from my life today, now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, last point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say so every evil worker of the occult using demonic incantation against my home, against my family, against my marriage, against my ministry, against my heart, against my health, against my career, against my children, against my business, or say against my sleep. That's your rest. There are some people that they're not sleeping because they're demonic incantation against them. That they will not sleep so the next day they're too exhausted to do anything so all of a sudden and i will share with that at the end all of a sudden you can't do anything you feel lethargic but let me tell you that's the spirit because the lord has given me a vision and shown me that hallelujah so as now every evil work of a cult using demonic incantation against my finances against my increase to defile me oh against my destiny oh mashi sata. come on raise your voice by fire holy ghost fire right now say but say be destroyed by the fire of god now in the name of jesus say be destroyed now by the fire of god be destroyed now come on speak be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now every demonic structure against my destiny every demonic structure against my destiny be destroyed now be dismantled no, be dismantled now by the fire of God. Be dismantled against my mind. Be dismantled against my body. Be dismantled against my heart. Be dismantled against my home. Be dismantled against my ministry. Be dismantled against my leaders. Be dismantled against my nation. Be dismantled now by the fire of God. Every demonic structure. Every satanic structure. Against my business. So be dismantled now by the fire of God. Come on, pray. Be dismantled now. Every satanic structure against me getting married, against me increasing my finances, against my dreams, against my visions, against my business, against my ministry. Be dismantled now by the fire of God. Be dismantled now by the fire of God. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Now, 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 now. Begin to feel those structures being destroyed from around you now. Begin to sense in your spirit these structures being destroyed over your marriage now. Over your finances now. Over that anointing on your life now. Over your minds now. Over your bodies now. Begin to feel it spiritually being destroyed now. Begin to 
to feel the defilement of the enemy being cleansed from your body now. Be, begin to feel the, the defilement of your mind being cleansed now, being washed now by the anointing now. Begin to feel it now. Let that anointing come upon you even now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Kanta. Begin to wash them now, oh Lord. Wash them now, oh Lord. Say, wash me now, oh God, from every defilement, oh Kore, every de satanic structure that's internal. Oh, Rebeba. Begin to feel it being washed now. Wash now. Wash it away now, oh Lord. Mm, wash it away now, O oh Lord. Wash it away now, O oh Lord. Wash it away now, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody just receive it now. Just receive that wash it now. Just receive that cleansing now. Just receive it in your heart, in your body, in your soul now. Just receive it now for your next level, your next season, your new times. Hallelujah. Whatever you're entering into, we're closing out a new year, very, another year very soon. Whatever you need that washing from, from that you would have had those are seeds that enter in the name of Jesus when you can't think like how oh God expect us to think according to the word think things that are good lovely of a good report when you can't think like that and every time something happens your mind go into the negative that means there's a seed there and it needs to be removed in the name of Jesus oh hallelujah father I give you praise now I give you praise and thanks because somebody is going to be delivered from fear right now that they would use the shield of faith hallelujah to quench every fiery dart that the enemy throws at them in the name of Jesus. They'll be able to use their words and declare your might, your power, your goodness in their lives. So declare the word in the name of Jesus that every fiery dart will bounce off of them in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, hallelujah. And I give you praise and thanks, oh God. And I give you all the honor and all the glory because I know somebody is going to receive today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank you so much, so, so much for praying with me, for being part of this movement, for being part of it. Because remember, guys, it is bigger than me. Hallelujah. I didn't give myself this vision. It was a vision from the Lord. It was a vision from the Lord and in the audible voice of the Lord that spoke to me. So this is from the Lord. So he knew from inception that this is something that you need and I need hallelujah because I'm blessed as well from these videos I said to my husband once and whenever I share a video I find myself being even being blessed from them as well because I will go and I will go into a vision about the video that I shared and I was begin to pray the prayer points I would, be, I would say oh lord imagine I just shared this video today and now look I'm seeing the manifestation of these prayers in my life so I'm a testimony here as well I don't just share something with you that I'm not living proof of Hallelujah, I've gotten the wisdom and the revelation from the Lord, okay? So, we are in this together. Amen? Come on, let's say it with me. We are in this together. Hallelujah. If you're in this with me, just comment below that prophetess, we are in this together. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? So, I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for praying. Thank you for being part of this prayer movement. And I want to give a special shout out here to one of our pastors. To pass by yourself. Hi, pass by friends. Pass by yourself. <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you for watching. Love you guys. I love my dear family. God bless you guys. God bless all of you for watching. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>